Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener, and uh, first and foremost, Go Bucks! Just kidding, I know they're not a great team. Maybe this year is our year. Anyway, happy Sunday. It's definitely time for an update on my Apple Trees Grown From Seed series. They were sown January 1st, 2016. Today is October 1st, 2017. So that means they're 21 months old today. My last update, they were approaching 19 months, so it's been a few months. Um, the last few months, they've had a kind of a off and on streak. They really took off and grew since the last update. Then the heat was kicked in full gear and I've been on the road a lot, so I haven't cared for them as much. And they kind of slowed down, but now they're looking fantastic again. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a few different things. First, I'll show you my four-year-old gala apple tree that I purchased from a nursery two years ago. I'll show you how it's doing, hoping to get some gala apples next year. Then I'll take you through and show you my May 16th, 2016 uh, apples that I started from seed, the Gala apples. Show you how they're doing because they're about 17 months old now. And then I'll finally show you my 21 month Gala apples grown from seed as well. Let's go ahead and take a look and let's not wait any further. Since the series is about Gala apples grown from seed, I figured I would go ahead and show you one of my Gala apple trees. Now, this particular Gala apple tree I purchased from a nursery, uh, let's see, spring of 2016. So, almost two years old, year and a half old, and um, it was actually a two plus year old tree when I bought it. It's probably about two and a half. So, it's probably a four year old tree right about now, maybe four and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. I just wanted to show it because, uh, kind of give you an idea how big this guy is. He's a about 13 feet tall. I didn't get any blossoms this year, but now that he's four years old plus, I'm hoping for blossoms next year. I'm pretty certain we'll get some fruit. That being said, I also wanted to show you the three gala apple trees that I started on May 16th, 2016. So these guys are about a year and a half old. I guess they're just about 16 and a half months old. So I wanted to give you guys an update on these three as well. I showed these in the last video. They're really starting to put on some size. Now I had started these five and a half months after my first series, which I'll get to here in a second, just so I had some backup apple trees in case they didn't make it. This guy right here is about four feet tall, slow growing. These grew a lot slower than the other ones did. My first uh, set did, but I also didn't care for them like I did the other ones because they were my backup set. The second one's right here. He's hard to see amidst the jalapenos and everything. He's struggling and I want to show you why. We've got ourselves an aphid infestation. Look how tired he looks. Shortly after this video, I'm going to have to spray him down with just a, 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 ho a water hose for now to wash the aphids off. The sun's still out. It's going to be out for several hours. So I don't want to use any soap and water on him or any kind of neem oil. I'm just going to hose him down with a hose. That will get those knocked off. He's only about two and a half feet tall. And then there's another one right here. It's funny. I always seem to get a twin tower one. And once again, this is another one of the twin towers. He's actually twin way down there at the base. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Look at that. I'm going to leave him alone like I did the other twin tower. He's about three feet tall. Let me pull him away from this uh, pepper plant. And he doesn't have any aphids on him right now, but he's got the two leaders looking good. So the May 16th Apple II series, three apple trees are doing pretty good in my opinion. And uh, looks like we should have between the original Gala Apple and then these three all in line. Along with what I'm gonna show you next, I have a nice row here of apple trees. I'm hoping for a fruit off of not just the store-bought one, of course, but off of the grown from seed ones. Let me go ahead and walk you over here and show you what we got going on with the other apple trees. So this first uh, crab apple tree is beautiful. He's really taken off this year. This is my royalty crab apple tree. And again, I like having the crab apples out here because they're very good cross pollinators for any types of apples you have. But this is my royalty crab apple. I put him in about a year and a half ago and he's about 10 and a half feet tall now. He's 
probably about two and a half years old as well. Maybe three. Next up, I have one of my January 1st, 2016 germinated apple trees. These are the Gala apples as well. And they turned 21 months today. Now this is the one that's struggling the most. You'll recall, I had to put a water bottle around his base. He had so much of his base eaten away by rabbits. And if you didn't see the last video, let me go ahead and show this to you down here. Look at that. About 50% of his base was eaten away. So I've done this to protect him. He started to uh, put on some foliage and he's the Texas heat really hurt him. His leaves don't look that healthy at all. I'm wondering if the heat has finally got to his uh, reduced trunk. Maybe the water bottle might have hurt. It might have kept the rabbits away, but maybe it's kind of boiled or baked or burnt his bottom. I'm not overly worried about him. He is an extra apple tree. He did recently start getting some of these little tiny shoots coming out at all the leaf nodes. And so I'm thinking right here. And so I'm thinking, and you'll see them everywhere. I'm thinking he'll be okay. I think he needs this uh, winter pretty badly to go ahead and heal himself up. Not doing that great, but he is six and a half, almost seven feet tall now. Yeah, about seven feet tall now. So that's the first one. <laughs> Excuse me. My second one's doing good. He's about eight feet tall. Up here. The foliage looks great. The leaves look really good. This is the twin tower one, if you recall. Let me go ahead and take you down here. He's the twin tower. He also had his uh, trunk eaten by, or gnawed at by rabbits, but they're in pretty good shape. Uh, this is only about 30% eaten away at, so he's doing pretty good. He's added some extra branching all over the place, and I'm not doing any trimming on this guy. We're gonna let him just keep continuing to add on foliage. You know, he has slowed down his growth the last month, but still, the leaves look great. The guy's doing fantastic. He's put on about six inches of height only in the last month, but he still looks really good. I'm pretty happy with this one. Now let me take you to this side of the yard where I have the tallest, the original, the first one I planted, kind of the star of the show. Let's go take a look at him. Here's my apple tree, guys. So there's the base. The fence is over eight feet tall. And he is now officially over 10 feet tall. Looks beautiful. He's got several, several branches in here. Look at all these branches. He's even got a lower limb down here and a lower limb down here. This guy is going like gangbusters. I'm probably going to top him at the fence line um, once the winter hits because I do know these guys can get 20 to 30 feet and I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna probably end up topping about a good foot and a half off the top of all the branches, promote some more side branching, try to get that goblet shaped. The other thing that's really cool about this guy is he's really putting on some girth. You'll recall in my last video, I said he was a little bigger than a pencil, made my finger size. Well now, he is definitely, definitely bigger than my fingers by far. At least one and a half times as big. He's probably an oh, inch and a half, two inches around. Guy is growing like crazy. He seems to really like the yard. I'm gonna have to get a better support system for him. Those two bamboos are really not ideal anymore. But I will tell you, the one thing I did notice he did start to get a little bit of yellowing on some of these uh, older leaves, but I'm not too worried about it because the rest of the leaves look great, as you can see. I can't even reach the top of him anymore. He's so tall now. So, wow. Anyway, I wanted to give you an update on my Apple series because I know it's been a few months, but man, they're getting ready in the next month to go dormant, and I just didn't want them to go dormant and have you not see how the, how the foliage looked on them. Look at this guy. He's absolutely stunning. Grown from seed, guys. 21 months. Well, there you have it, everyone. There's my apple trees grown from seed update. The Gala saplings are now 21 months old, doing great. Should give you another update probably 
mid-November, right when they're at 22 and a half months, somewhere in there, because then we'll get our frost and the leaves will fall. And we'll see how they do in the off season. Hoping that next year, just maybe, maybe one of them gets a flower. Probably won't happen. If my three and a half year old tree didn't get one, they're not gonna get one. But we can always hope. If you're enjoying the series, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. Well, there you have it, everyone. There's my apple seeds. Apple seeds.